you know you can turn a ping pong ball into a ladybird? Well, you can. Here's what you do. You start by cutting away about a third of the ping pong ball with a pair of sharp pointed scissors. Be very careful. Keep your fingers well away from the scissors. Cut all the way around until you lift off a little cap. And once you've done that, you're well on the way to producing a ladybird. That's going to be the body of the ladybird. Then you take a felt pen and put in some markings. I've already done that here, as you can see. I put a line down the centre. I've put in a little face there and put some black dots on as well. Now, to add to the interest of the ladybird, I'm going to use some of those little craft eyes that you can buy from any craft shop for a few cents each and put them in position there. They're not absolutely essential, but they make it look a little bit more interesting. That's the body of the ladybird. It doesn't have legs, it has a wheel. And to make the wheel, you'll need a cork. Now, if you use a cylindrical cork of about that size, you'll find that you need to cut it in halves in order to make a wheel which will fit inside the ladybird. Once again, using a safe cutter, keeping your fingers well away from the cutter, cut all the way around until you have a little piece of cork about that size. Now, when you've done that, one more thing to do. Find an axle for the wheel. And the thing that I find ideal for that is the straight part from a hair clip. And you can cut that off or bend it backwards and forwards until you have a little piece about that size. It should be long enough to go across the body of the ladybird. And then work it carefully through the centre of the cork, backwards and forwards, backwards and forwards, and then keep working it around like that so that the wheel is a nice loose fit and it spins freely. When you've got to that position, you're ready to assemble the ladybird. And to do that, turn the body upside down, push the axle in through a little hole, which you can make either with the pin itself or very carefully with the sharp point of the scissors. Then insert the wheel. The axle goes right through the centre of the wheel and out of the other side of the ladybird's body. And then you need something to hold the axle in place. Now, there are several things you can use. I find that a couple of little daubs of uh, plasticine or some other sort of adhesive is just right. There we are. A daub there and a daub there. And the whole thing is ready to trundle. You ready, ladybird? Ladybird, ladybird, fly away home. Thank you.